good afternoon. It's Wednesday, March 2nd, 2011. Jill Sealand here with your Earn Berry Mark Report, sponsored by Australian Premium Brands Incorporated. Today, foodmarket.com's reporting Chipotle Mexican Grill began celebrating its 18th anniversary of its focus on using high-quality ingredients by wrapping its burrito in gold. With its launch this week and continuing for four months, Chipotle will switch from its iconic silver foil to gold foil for its burritos. The company estimates it will wrap as many as 35 million burritos in gold foil during that period. You can get more on this story and other news from the center of the plate at foodmarket.com. Now let's check out the market. Looking at poultry, the chicken complex as a whole is well situated with most listed lines being limited under improving business patterns. White meat has tightened up with items like tenders, boneless and chunk and trim meat becoming short of needs. This has given sellers good reason to advance their asking prices. Dark meat continues to take on an active call. Wogs are held with a great deal of confidence and continue to sell at premiums to our listed quotations. Wings are doing a balancing act. Now with an inside look at Erner Berry's turkey letter, here's market reporter James Serpico. The turkey market is starting the month of March very well supported under solid undertones. As we see here, the latest cold storage estimate is up about 21 million pounds and currently rests at just over 309 million pounds. Uh, moving to our chart, uh, we display the weekly average head slaughter for turkey year by year. Uh, from 2004 to 2010. Looking at turkey business in particular, a cursory glance at these figures is particularly revealing. 2006 was a strong year for commodity turkey values, and the weekly average head slaughter was 4.5 million head. That number expanded in 2007, and by 2008 it peaked at 4.8 million. Uh, that 5.6% advance helped 2008 go down in the record books as one of the poorest performing years ever witnessed. Two years later in 2010, record high quotations and record low inventories were recorded after cutbacks over an 18-month period averaged 7% on a weekly headcount basis. This proves, uh, without all outside factors aside, uh, that today's industry should be able to stand a 2% expansion without any significant effect on commodity prices. So while the industry has been heading in the right direction, it will be crucial to keep in check any significant expansionary aspirations. Thanks, James. Looking at eggs, retail demand ranges only fair to poor. Supplies of large remain long, and trading values here are trending lower. Brown eggs are somewhat more available, with increased open offerings noted. Moving over to red meats in the boxed beef market, only a nominal amount of price changes for quick ship are noted in our first query of the market. The recent surge in offering prices has subsided for the moment. Buyers appear more conservative with procuring spot market product as they wait for the next hint of improving consumer demand. In the boneless market, fresh 90s are steady to weaker as of this morning. Fresh 50s are rated steady to firm. 65% fresh trimmings have traded at the top end of yesterday's listing. Imported beef markets are mixed as of this morning. Bull 95% in forward time slots is steady to higher as the market anticipates lighter shipments of bull 95s from New Zealand. BC 90s are steady to marginally lower and appears to be more closely tied to the recent trend in the fresh 90s market. We'll wrap things up this afternoon with a look at pork. Direct market hogs are called flat to lower. Trade at the determinal markets is rated steady to weaker. Many are waiting for ham trade to pick up as the beginning of the week has been dull so far far. If you can find available bellies, you are lucky. Supplies are seriously tight. Taking a look at retail pork, buyers continue to operate in a mostly hand-to-mouth fashion, and as a result, significant quantities remain available in both spot and forward time frames. Loins are offered near steady levels and butts steady to lower, both from multiple points of sale. Spare ribs are still unsettled. That's your Erner Berry Market Report brought to you by Australian Premium Brands. When was the last time your expectations were exceeded? Call Australian Premium Brands today and ask about their beef programs for high choice, choice, select and no roll equivalent from grain and grass fed steers. Also ask about their certified organic and Wagyu beef programs. Visit them online at www.apbbeef.com or give them a call at 877-717-BEEF.